out of the blue corner. This man hails from St. Louis, Missouri with a record of one victory and two defeats. Representing ES MMA and Team Fusion, please put your hands together for the scientist, Corey Beck! And across the cage out of the red corner, this man hails from Kansas City, Kansas, with a record of one victory and one defeat, representing Next Generation, please welcome Cameron Cash! Yeah, Cameron Cash, he started his pro career with a perfect 23 second submission victory. And then, you're right, tested himself against Max Canones 3-0. Currently, he is the former FC or Synergy FC flyweight champion, has since gone pro, and we're starting off fast here in this one tonight with Corey Beck. Corey Beck always with the relentless pace out of the gate. Good shots by Cameron Cass right there, right and a left. And Beck had to close the distance right there and corral him as Beck offers a good knee that landed on the on the forehead of Cameron Cash and another one. You know, Cash has, has shared rounds with guys like Alexandra Pantoja and, and Adriano Marais, just to name a few, down on American Top Team. He just continues to get better in his career. He's got a tough test right now, and Corey Beck right in front of him. Corey Beck taking everything Cameron can handle so far and still coming forward despite eating a lot of these blows. Yeah, one thing about Cameron Cash is he's really good with his knees, and he's got you know, solid kicks from the outside when he's at range too. And he's good with his hands. So he, he's a good stand-up fighter. And right now he's he's looking to avoid the takedown of Corey Beck and yeah, Cor Beck gets him down. Corey, a purple and belt a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu under Brad Montgomery, uh, definitely has the uh, grappling advantage over Cameron Cash when it comes to uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu ranks. But, you know, uh, all, all that goes out the window when punches and kicks are thrown in the way. But Corey uh, Beck cruising right now in this high ball position right into the full back mount. I've got both hooks in. He's looking to, you know, maybe wrap an arm around the chin of Kim Cash. Falling over to the choke side with the top arm is Corey Beck. Doing a good job using that right leg to stay stable on the back. Yeah, but he's, he's fighting this choke right now. And Corey Beck is trying to turn in yeah, got to pull that top hand down and start to get his right elbow in between himself and Corey Beck. Yeah, but Corey's back. got both hands together right now in this, this you know, little short choke position, but he's got to lower his chin over the, the underhook side shoulder. But Cameron Cash did a good job quadding up here and getting to his feet. He can shimmy, yep. shimmy, shimmy, and bounce and start to drop Corey and off just like this. And Cameron Cash is incredibly resilient. He is one of the toughest flyweights to finish. And it looks like a, we've got a cut under the left eye of Cameron Cash here early. As, yeah, Beck continues to push the pace right now. Both guys foot on the gas right now. Two minutes Good left right in round number one. And you're right, Justin. Beck is just... He's eating all these shots by Cash, and he still comes forward. As Cash is landing on the chin over and over again, but it's not affecting Beck and his offense. They exchange body shots right there. What a left and a right. He makes Cash shell up there. Both gentlemen and a knee. swinging for oblivion right now. Yeah, these are two highly Great double leg attempt there in the finish from Cameron Cash, but good clamp guard from Corey Beck. Nice Omoplata wow. attempt, and Cameron Cash scrambles to stay on and top. The nice arm and guillotine attempt here. This is deep. This is very, very deep. This is how he won his professional debut, was via guillotine, but Corey Beck got his head popped out. And wow, after a wild scramble, Corey Beck is on top. Again, you know, he's had a lot of control time in this fight so far early in the first round. He, this is a professional fight, so we got five rounds of work. Cameron Cash back up to all fours, yep. looking to shimmy and shimmy. And this time Beck's 
done a good job. He's lower. He's able to maintain this, and now he's got Ooh, the choke he's, a he's little deeper. He's got the deeper. choke locked in. He's got his hands locked up. Cameron Cash fighting the top hand, though, doing a great job of yep. staying calm. Very, very and attacking hard to the choking arm. Oh, this is and deep right pulling, here now. Pulling the arm down again. He goes down. Cameron Cash calm and collected here. Staying safe. 30 seconds left in round number one of our first professional bout of the evening. Transition to mount was back for a moment, but that would gave Cash the opportunity to get up, rolls out of that guillotine attempt. Watch the arm here, good job. Yeah, and Cash gets out 10 seconds to work here in the first round. And Cash looks for a flying knee there. That's how we'll end round number one. Lots of control time there for Corey Beck. A lot of good shots landed by Cameron Cash. He's got two great guys in his corner. He's got Austin Ford and Chris Brennan, as you mentioned. They're gonna give it their fighter some good instructions and we'll see how Corey Beck responds after that first round. He is very fit for this this style, you know, he, he's got cardio for days. Yeah, electing to not take the stool is Corey Beck here in round num at the end of round number one. Uh, I mean, what a uh, grueling round for both gentlemen. Um, you know, forward pressure from Corey Beck was non-stop. Cameron Cash able to uh, live in those, uh, those intermediary positions in the exchanges, but um, all three judges so far giving round number one to Corey Beck. So he is up one round to nothing on the judges' scorecards, but it looks like the, the cauliflower ear of Cameron Cash has busted open. Yep. He's getting those final instructions from Austin Ford there. Consider exploring. Round number two, here we go. and instantly on, in on the takedown with Corey Beck. Yeah, good little two, three to the, uh, the single leg attempt. Cash looked like he tried to get that guillotine, just lost it on the way down. And Beck's on top here. So Cash is gonna try to, looks like he's got one butterfly in and Beck was able to step over it there. Yep. Locking in the half guard here. And Cash looking at his coaches. For a little bit, he's looking to grab the wrist of Corey Beck here. Gets to a knee, and Beck follows him. He's just on his back, offering shots. Yeah, right now where he's in, in, in between the cage and this little post right here, he's got to start to use the cage to peel Corey Beck off of him. Yep. So he's got to turn, he's got to build up to his right leg and turn his left elbow in hard and try and dig that underhook and peel Corey off him with the cage. And wow, Corey back able to flatten out Cameron Cash and get us to where we were in the first round with both hooks in and putting Cameron Cash in a bad spot. His corner just imploring, imploring him to get up Corey. here if he's able to, you know, get to, get to a knee or turn into him. Cameron giving his thumb. And there he is, he turns in. Cameron and gets his out. corner, the thumbs up, letting him know he's okay. He's got to take his right hand and pass it to the elbow of Corey Beck here to get out of this front headlock position. And yeah, Corey Beck is just relentless. Can't, Cameron Cash, a downed opponent right now, but now big knee can land if Corey is able to capitalize. Trying to carry him and nice little yep, mat, mat return, return there. Three. It's, just, it's constant from Corey back. Yeah, three minutes left here for Corey to work. He's got the back. It's constant work from Corey back. He, you know, he, he's staying on the back of Cameron Cash. He's throwing punches at, at all times, working a submission, getting both hooks in. He's nonstop action. There's some more shots. Cameron Cash has to defend them. Yeah, he's got to show a little bit more urgency here. You know, he's in a good position to use the cage in his advantage, but uh, notice how Corey's staying far over that, the, or I'm sorry, heavy over that far shoulder of Cameron there. But uh, he used that to take Cameron uh -oh. to the mat. Now setting up an arm, like triangle, an arm triangle here. Yep. He's giving the arm, I mean, he's giving the thumbs up, but 
He's not doing a lot of movement here to fight the choke yep. to create some space. He's letting he's letting the judge know he's all right. You know, you know, Corey needs a little bit of uh, space here. He's got to turn that right hip yep. down a little bit more, but that cage is in the way, creating some pressure there, or creating some uh, adversity there. And there's Cash. You know he's got some more to say before this fight is over. A Two very tough left. guy to finish. Oh, left hand by Cash. As Beck is just nonstop firing, these guys are going at it right now. Good inside elbow by Cash, and another one, left hand. Right hand barely misses by Cash. These guys are exchanging along the fence line right here. Knee by Corey Beck, non-stop shots from both one. gentlemen. And the elbow, slicing elbow by Corey Beck. And that's where Cash is having the most success is, is on the feet with Corey Beck. They're exchanging, but in this position, Rolling through for Roll a leg. Through. That was nice by Cameron Rolling Cash. through for a leg. He's got the backside attempt here. Oh, my. Good Inside job heel hook Beck. position. Oh, and he's got the fight, and he's got to scramble to his feet. And Beck was able to get on top of him first. Pounding shots right now, but Cash is blocking him. Did a good job of controlling the front headlock here as Corey Beck. Yeah, and good circle to the back by Corey Beck. 20 seconds to work here. Got both hooks in once again. And, and trying to pull Cameron Cash and potentially get that rear naked choke again. Cash looking to maybe turn in and, and end up on top here if he can. He tries to, rolls out the back, nice. This is a great fight, Justin. Exactly what we expected from both guys. I mean, um, you know, it, 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 if you've paid attention to either of these gentlemen over the last decade, this is uh, this is right on par. You know, Corey Beck, nonstop action. Uh, foot on the gas from the second that bell starts. And, you know, Cameron Cash, the, the ultimate, uh, ultimate display of resiliency. This is a guy who, no matter the bad position, no matter the adversity he faces, he doesn't stop. He, he does not give up on himself, and he believes in the training that he's acquired in the rooms that he's been in over the years. But, um, you know, Corey, Corey Beck's had an answer for everything. Cameron's thrown his way tonight. But, um, man, going into round number three tonight, uh, as, as close as it is, as, 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 as far as Corey is up on the scorecards, I should say. But, um, you know, this, this is still anyone's fight. This is still anyone's fight, absolutely. And that's the word, the perfect word, Justin, is resiliency by Cameron Cash. He is almost impossible to finish, and yeah, Corey Beck has been just nonstop pressure, and, and he's having a lot of control time, and that's what's winning him these rounds. So Cameron Cash might look to keep it on the feet in this third and final round of our flyweight pro fight. Nice little front kick up the middle by Corey Beck. Cameron has fainted that knee a few times tonight. Yep. I'd love to see him commit to it and see what it can open up for him. Yep. Good body kick by Cameron Cash. I think it's going to have to be a left knee, though, based off the way that Corey is dipping his head. Yep. And here, come, here comes the pressure by Corey Beck. You hear Corey Beck's girlfriend, Kylie Patterson, an MMA fighter as well, yelling for him to go to the body. As he does, it this lands, is, yeah, but Cameron, Cameron Cash responds. He's got to break out of here. He's got. This is where Corey Beck is able to, you know, get the position right here. So Cameron Cash is, is just, he's having a lot of success on the feet. It's just in these grappling exchanges is where Corey Beck's able to, to take over. So if he can avoid the takedown this time and get it back to the feet, he's got a real shot at landing some big shots here on the feet. He's doing a good job so far. But if we've seen anything from Beck, it's, he won't stop until he gets his takedown. There's Cash, he breaks out. Perfect, now he's gonna go for it. He's going for the strikes. He's got over three minutes to work here. He almost squeaks through. 
Here's Cash. Both throw some kicks. Teeth lands again for Corey oh, Beck. Almost had the knee right there, just missed. And it allowed Beck to get to the legs and dump Cameron Cash down. He does get the takedown. It looks Slight like a buggy choke. Yeah, buggy choke attempt here. Yeah, he's got it backwards. It's not impossible to finish from here. He's got to get to his side, though. He's got to get to his right hip, and he can start to close off a little bit more space. Yeah, Cameron Cash will, will try anything. He's trying, yeah, he's trying to grab his own foot, it looked like there. He's, he's got to get elbow deep under his own knee and clasp his hands together. Yeah, right now, he's, he's just controlling Corey Beck from the bottom here with this position. Yeah, if Corey can, uh, I mean, this is a, a not exactly an advantageous position, but uh, he's still kind of in control here. If he can, this is where it gets a little bit better for Cameron Cash. Now he's got his legs locked, but Corey's got to start to circle his left leg towards the head. There you go. Now Cameron's switching it up. Yeah, Cameron finally bailing on that buggy choke attempt. Now he's gonna try to work to get up. Made, and there's Beck following him. That buggy choke made famous by a, a good friend and teammate of mine, Lucas Cassius Clay. Absolutely. Got, got two buggy choke finishes in professional mixed martial arts. And it looks like Beck's a little high there. So if Cameron Cash could build up, he could maybe get him out over the top. As Beck's just a little high on the back. But he's able to turn him in. Both of these guys have given so much so far in this fight. Corey Beck. Unable to turn in there. Doing a great job staying on top in every chance he can get here. Right into the front headlock position with a minute 18 left. Yep, wherever see Cameron, if he sits on the guillotine here. Wherever Cameron Cash goes. Ooh, nice power guillotine yeah, wow. here. Cameron doing a good job giving up his back though to uh, escape that guillotine. That, that elbow high, that power guillotine, however you want to phrase it, really the only uh, real defense is to bail to your back like that as soon as possible. Just under a minute to work here in our flyweight pro fight. This camera cash has a foot on the cage. He might try to push off. Here he gets momentum. He might have one final explosion in him to get up, and here he goes. Beck following right now. He's trying to sneak out the back. Get to his knees if he can. He's on, He's to his knees. 30 seconds, 30 seconds and left And there's here. the hooks again by Corey Beck. Uh-oh, Sulov stretch position here. If he can he's catch the, the ankle leg, here. Yeah. yeah, that's, it's dirty. Shades of Aljamain Sterling. 10 seconds left here. Corey Beck looking to get his record to 500, improve to two and two Ladies as and a professional a flyweight. With the owner of a Chevy Cruze, they're parked in the fire lane and the marshal is trying to get out right now. So if you don't want to get a ticket or get towed, the owner of a Chevy Cruze on this side of the building over here, parked in a fire lane, you're gonna to need to move your vehicle. Yeah, incredible fight by both of these gentlemen. There's good things to take away from if you're both of these fighters. Both of them had success. Corey Beck just gets back in the win column after dropping two straight. You know he was hungry for it tonight, yeah. and he put on a complete performance. Yeah, definitely hungry after his last outing. You know, um, as I stated in the pre-fight, um, you know, uh, dropped two in a row. Last one was a definitely a questionable stoppage. Watching it back, in my opinion, uh, but uh, man, it's it's got to feel uh, incredible for a guy like uh, Corey Beck to uh, make this first cut to 125 pounds as a pro. Come down, take, face a very very tough opponent in Cameron Cash. Um, man, can't say enough about the performance tonight from Corey Beck, but. Uh, See Cameron Cash over here in the corner tonight. Very, very emotional. Um, you know, this kid's been on a wild ride the last few years, and uh, I hate to see him in such a bad position like this uh, 
emotionally. Fighters to the center, He's got nothing please. to hang his hat on. He, he had a tough fight ahead of him tonight. And, um, Our well, winner of the 12th bout of the loser. evening comes by unanimous decision out of the blue corner, the scientist, Corey Beck. And there it is, Corey Beck in the win column tonight via unanimous decision. Cameron Cash had a lot of success on the feet. Ultimately, Corey Beck was able to control him on the ground a little bit more. Got close to a finish a couple times, but Cameron Cash is, is just a very, very hard fighter to finish in there. 